so relaxed on one occasion. I managed to fall asleep. I'm still a bit spooked out, actually. It opens up a different world un under a sea, and, I like to, and, and all, all I want to do is take photos of, of under a sea. And I care about the wildlife down there. It's uh, the adrenaline rush. It's almost like being in, in, in a space, you're weightless. Um, and you're just like any other diver. It's a nice feeling, something you can do without a wheelchair. There are many sports you can't do without a wheelchair. Being underwater, um, I get much more or better sense of freedom. Um, I feel more comfortable not, not being confined to the wheelchair. So your mind is uh, a lot stiller than, than it would be um, on land. My name is Kate, I'm 33. Um, I had my accident seven years ago when I was 26. Um, before that, I was a physiotherapist, I was active. I scuba dived before my accident, um, so I'd got my advanced open water then. Um, I had a car crash then, which resulted in me breaking my neck, and I'm kind of paralysed from the shoulders down. The actual performance of getting into the water is a bit of a fan, because it takes ages to get everything organised and get dressed. But then when you're in there, it's just so lovely. The, you kind of just forget all the disability stuff. So you just, everyone's going at the same pace anyway. You don't have to stop for steps or find a different route. Everyone's doing the same thing. And you kind of forget the bits that don't work. My name is Alan Kenny. Um, I'm from Milo in Buckinghamshire on the River Thames. Uh, um, my age is 72. I was disabled in 1981. I fell off of a scaffolding. Um, had a spinal an injury and a head injury. And I diagnosed with motor neuron disease as well at the time. So, um, yeah, no speech. And, um, diving, diving, you don't need to talk underwater. When you're preparing for a dive, um, uh, your energy comes up and your thoughts go into your diving. You're in the moment. You can't be anywhere else. We're in the moment. And um, when I'm kitted up, there's one, two, three, and they throw me in the water. It's a hell of a, hell of a buzz. Yeah, it's really draining the mush. My name is Anand Sears. I am, I think, about tw 25 or 24. I actually feel great underwater. It, because, 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 it, because it, it, does, it simply does, does take the feeling away from everything. Psychological, uh, scared, scared of pieces of fish and water from a young age. Mostly because I tripped on Saint Sea many years ago and never been in there since. Um, physical, physical side of things, yes, it helps on the muscles. As I say, I mean, I've got a lot of spinal injury, but um, it's making the upper body stronger and it obviously, well, it's making my legs a lot better as well. I suffered from depression a couple of times um, and definitely diving. Um, does lift the mood for me, um, perks me up, and uh, it just makes me happy. Psychologically, um, it's good for me because um, once I'm in the water, a neutrally buoyant, I can fly, um, do a handstand, 
to a cartwheel. It takes you into a different place almost, um, where you can, you're can concentrating so hard on looking at the fish and seeing them swimming around. It can be quite hypnotic, just listening to the bubbles and just being in your own space. Because you don't get that much time where you're completely on your own. But there's nobody talking to you and you don't feel any pressure to talk to anybody else. So it's just nice just to be floating, listening to the bubbles and looking at the fish. It's really nice. Flying on the water like you are flying in the air with your wings free.